Well, there's so much t happening in London right now. There's all sorts of test events, and one of those taking part right now is the sailing event, and Peter Stefanovic brings us up to date on what's happening out on the water. On the choppy waters of Weymouth, Aussie sailors are getting an up-close look at the Olympic course. Wind is up, and the 470-class pair of Malcolm Page and Matthew Belcher cut through the waves. They're number one in the world and defending Olympic champions. When we're sailing at our normal level or average level, we're going to be at the front of the fleet. You know, if we sail well, then no one will be able to catch us. Our newest sailing star is just 19, women's match race skipper Olivia Price. This time next year, I just can't wait for it. It's going to be so exciting. The speed of our team in the 49er class shows this venue will be a sailor's delight next year, especially after the Beijing Olympics when there was barely a breeze to help. The only trouble here could be the three prisons that overlook the harbour. At Beijing, the Australian sailing team managed two gold and one silver, but next time around, they hope to do a bit better than that. The target for London is five medals. Sailing rules at the Olympics are simple to follow. Each class has a series of races, and in those races, points are given according to finishing position. The faster the time, the fewer the points. And at the end, the individual or crew with the lowest point score wins the gold. Peter Stefanovic there, a test event right now, the sailing. And a nice thing about our sailors, they've got their priorities absolutely nailed. They're training hard, and they've also selected the official team <laughs> pub. Like a bunch of good Aussie lads, that's what we do, because once you finish four years of pressure, you want to go and grab a beer somewhere with a bunch of Aussies afterwards. There's no doubt about it. Anyway, stick around. Coming up after the break, we've got a 